happens though that when just once in Carla I was visiting Canada and the United Kingdom I was actually in Delhi visiting the widow's colony and I didn't know that at the time that that's the time of his speech and so when I was visiting those mothers in the widow's colony it was 10 years after 84 the very message that they were giving to me and sharing with me something that left me for a very long time and made me interested in human rights is that the world had forgotten them and actually, there was very few people in India at that time, human rights organizations, just once in Cairo was one of them, Fulka has been one of them, and many others that took on the plight and went to seek justice um, for so many of those families. And actually what just once in Cairo unearthed um, was just um, shocking. And I'm really pleased that people like Sadbal Singh Baines, who's also on this call that will be delivering the lecture, have actually taken on his work, as, he, as has his family, his wife, his daughter, who's also joined us on this call, Nadir and Gore. We're very grateful um, to have you with us. Um, but the work that they have been doing and seeing them really at the forefront um, has been just so inspiring. And I know it will inspire future generations to come. I want all people to know about who just once in Kailara was. You know, there is still so much work that we need to be doing to educate our young children, um, our future generations, so they absolutely understand you know, that the very fact that Sikhs haven't had the privilege of the freedom of religion and belief in their very home country in India. And I want to see freedom of religion and belief um, as, as the co-chair of the all-party parliamentary group on Forbes, actually. Um, it's something that I'm very, very passionate about, as well as within my shadow brief. Um, and I'm really delighted that we've been joined by the um, UN Special Rapporteur, uh, Ahmed Singh Shaheed, um, on Forbes, um, who's joined us. So just very quickly reiterate um, that today we're also going to see the launch of the book um, by, um, th this is the wonderful book by Gurmeet Gaur, um, which I had delivered today and I haven't had a chance to read, but I'm, I'm really delighted. I've got books here for MPs that have joined this call um, so that they will get their own copy. Um, so really delighted that Gurmeet Gaur um, is going to speak to us and, and tell us about what inspired her to write the book. And then we've got Navgiran Gaur, who's joined us from California. She's just Kalra's daughter, and she will deliver a vote of thanks. Uh, we've also been joined by Rajinder Singh, who lives in the UK. He is just once in Kalra's brother. So great welcome um, to him. And, and, and as I said, there are many MPs and Lords that will be joining us throughout this event. Of course, there is a vote in the House of Commons at the moment as well. Um, but I want to thank everybody that's watching um, this event through KTV satellite channel, YouTube channels of United Speaks, Carlos TV and Basics of Sikhi and Facebook Live from BOSS. And I want to thank the organisers, especially Manjinder Palkor from United Speaks, uh, BOSS, Sikh PA, who's the media partner and CAP Freedom of Conscious um, that has supported the event. Um, so I now want to hand over um, to my co-chair Manjinder Palkor, she's a human rights lawyer, a former journalist, who serves minorities and the underprivileged as the International Legal Director of United Speaks. She began work on a rural project called PASS, which is Punjab After School Study, which serves 2,000 government primary school students in 33 villages. And Manjinder Bal divides her time between Punjab, the UK and Malaysia.